We are not going to walk with a minister who does not respect us. Let the president know we shall not walk. We respect the head of state, we respect the government, and we must also be respected as citizens. We are not going to walk with chains of arrogant men and women who abuse us from morning to evening. Professor Ungeri never abused us. Mutula Kilonzo never abused us. Those who are elected men and women, we can name. Kalonzo Musioka never abused us. Joseph Kamoga never abused us. What is this group of species of the Magoas of this world who are arrogant and we even don't know where they come from? We question them about the laptops. And the laptop failed via the reports of the ministry. Reports of the ministry, that puts it at 5% success. Yet 70 billion shillings has been wasted to deliver only 1 million tablets. Not laptops, tablets, 1 million tablets, which currently half of them are dead, dysfunctional, and the purported teacher training, which was undertaken by TSE, did not skill any teacher at all. We are a labor movement. We are not a wedding party. And we do it in the best interest of the country. We cannot be invited as flower girls to go and cheer a policy that we have not participated in. We will never be flower girls. The Constitution gives us the mandate to participate in any policy formulation. How on earth can a nation roll out a curriculum without a legitimate policy framework and necessary statutory instruments born out of public participation? The height of ignorance was demonstrated yesterday when Professor Albert Omore Magoha, a professor of medicine, is not a professor of education, professor of medicine and, 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 and surgery. That is why he's giving us examples of steel parts. We don't need that in the sector. We are talking about children and developing the minds of children. There is nothing going on in the classroom. CBC is only in the mind of Professor Magoha. Yes, you have a thick skin, but CBC is hidden inside you and KICD. It is not in the Kenyan classrooms. That's the truth for sure. If nobody has told you, we are telling you today. This is killing the children of this country. And KNUT will stand to defend the children. We shall die with the children. We cannot allow business entities and dishonest Kenyans to engage in a process that will destroy children. We have urged our members to stop wasting their time and their minds implementing what they are not skilled about. Forget about it. You are doing injustice to children. So stop teaching CBC in short and continue teaching with the traditional methods and teach very well. Be in class at 8 up to 5 and teach well until when we shall advise you uh, properly.